Hey VC, this is just gonna be a vinyl update. Um, I've been posting lots of videos recently. I hope nobody minds. But what we're playing in the background, Gordon Lightfoot, the way I feel, his second album is Shrink. Great album. Um, these are just a bunch of finds. Most of them are flea market finds. Again, I've been going to the same flea market, two dollars each. But these are purchases from last week and they're a little more expensive. This is an album by uh, Dexy's Midnight Runners. Um, this was sealed, but I did open it. Um, this is their debut album from 1981. You all know them for, for their one hit wonder, Come On Eileen. But I just tried this just because I just wanted to know what, they, what other songs they had, if they were good. And it's alright. Put those there. Um, actually this one has a flea market fine, but, and some of these are Goodwill and Value Village finds too, but, this is from a store, I got this for 20 bucks, this is from 2007, this is the Depeche Mode UK Heavy Deluxe Version, uh, reissue from 2007 of Construction Time Again, their third album, it's a nice gatefold, show you the inner sleeve, And the inner sleeve is even like lined. That's so nice. And there's the mute label. It was sealed, but I opened it, of course. I couldn't really leave it in the shrink since it's a gatefold. I was trying to, but then I just wasn't working out. But anyways, just gotta put it back in the sleeve here. It's kind of hard. Whatever, I'll do that after, but that was a great find. Um, now, these are flea market finds, uh, slash good, slash, I guess, thrift store finds. First one from the flea market, this was about 10 bucks. This is an original UK first pressing of The Doors, L.A. Woman. Um, it's embossed in the cover. I always put these, the 12 inch, like if I have some extra 12 inch single sleeves in the back just to, just to support it, just cause it's, these ones are really flimsy. So this is from 1971, came in a nice sleeve, it's perfect shape, there it is. And that was a great find, cause I do have an original Canadian, but it's just really beat up. And of course this is a great album. You know, a bunch of great songs. Lover Madly, the uh, Changeling, I like that one. A bunch of great blues songs. Found out that, that the, they brought in Jerry Schiff, who, who was Elvis Presley's bass player from 1969 to 70. Or not, to not 70, to 77. So I thought that was really, really interesting just because it's Elvis's guitar player at that time in 71. Elvis was doing kind of like country music and stuff and that kind of stuff so it's just really interesting and I wonder what Elvis would have thought if he would have been thinking when his bass player went to go play with the Doors next one this was a find from yesterday um, Thomas Dolby Thomas Dolby I mean uh, The Age of Wireless on Harvest this is the this is the second issue I, I found out that um the first issue had a couple more songs and didn't have She Blinded Me With Science. So, um, yeah. But this one does have She Blinded Me With Science. So this one's from 83, but I guess that makes me happier because I like that song. And that's his, like, biggest hit, so I don't know. I'll still look out for the other version, but this was a great find at Valley Village for me. Dave Mason's album from 1978. I can't pronounce that, but... On Columbia, such great tracks on here. It's a good one. From the flea market for two bucks. Um, this is Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark um, organization from 1980 on the Din Disco label. That was really nice to find. I love 
OMD, they're a great new wave uh, UK band from the 80s. They're great. Um, this was at Goodwill for for about half off because they have the deals when it's like the blue, when it, or it was actually free. It's actually when they have like the blue tags on them, they're like buy one get one free or something. So I got this one. This is Andy Williams Moon River. I mean, you probably see it a lot, but it's it's great shape. I mean, I like that kind of vocal vocal stuff. So I mean, it's not a loss for me. Next one. This was also another free one because it was uh, it was blue. This one, just trying to remember who it is. Uh, this is Brenda Russell from 1988. That's what it is. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a soul album kind of. It's on this weird private label. Well, not a private label, but it's known. It's not like it's not known or anything, but it's kind of like. 80s like dancey music I guess I don't know how to describe it next one uh, this is on RCA this is um, that guy's name uh, I know who it is why can't I read this I don't know uh, Bill Medley sorry Bill Medley on RCA it's like a, he's him doing some country songs that's all right. It's whatever. Next one we have here. Uh, oh yeah, this is a Hank Snow album on Pickwick. This was in the shrink. I took it out because it was falling off. This is a Hank Snow album on Pickwick. It's mint shave, unplayed. So I thought for a buck, I'll take a chance. I like Hank Snow now. I think he's awesome. In the shrink. This is a UK thing in the shrink, um, Slim Whitman. His music's alright. This was nice to find for a dollar, a great upgrade copy for me. The Honey Drippers from 84. This is Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, doing a bunch of 50s songs. I highly recommend this to any Zeppelin fan or anyone, really. It's great, great music. Next one, this is like a Columbia... Uh, Hitmakers compila compilation from the 60s. There's label 2i. It's in good shape. You get some good songs on here. There's the back. Um, what's this one? Uh, this is uh, Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. Of course, you see this one all the time. My friend gave me this. Uh, thanks, Dylan. Another one from my friend that I got him to find for me. This is Telex Sex. Uh, this is a, a Belgium, a Belgian uh, new wave dance uh, group from the 80s. I think this one's from 84, 83 maybe, I don't know. Some great, great stuff on it. I really like that. Next one, this was good to find for a buck. Um, it's not in great shape, but I had to get it for a filler copy. This is The The from 1985. I knew the song, uh, This Is The Day. And that's a great song. This one... Oh yeah, here's a 12-inch single that I got at the flea market. This is Depeche Mode's, um, Everything Counts. Maxi 45 single on Sire. A great song from 83 off of the construction time again album so that was awesome to find here's a nice album from uh, 88 I think or 80 no 85 this is the call reconciliation on virgin this is really interesting I mean it's, it's also a stamped promo copy flea market I found that Another one from uh, Thomas Dolby. This one's called Planet Earth. This one's from uh, 84 on Capitol. Really interesting stuff. He's a great musician. This was awesome to find at the flea market. I've been waiting to buy this. ACDC, Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap. Classic, classic from ACDC. He's got the original inner sleeve on Atlantic. This was nice to find at uh, Goodwill. This is an Argentina pressing of Burt Bacharach, uh, Haslo Facile, 
and um, it's on A&M from 1970. And there's some alright songs on it. I mean, for a buck, I'm not going to complain about a nice Argentina pressing. This was this was awesome to find also on Columbia. Uh, Denise Williams with uh, This Is from 76. I knew the song called Free. I'm sure some other people might know that. That's a cool cover. I like that. Next one we got here. This is an album by Jesse Winchester. I tr I'm just I kind of just tried this out for a buck. Um, it's, it's pretty good stuff. It's not bad. I like it. Next one. I don't really know why I got this, but um, for a buck, in great shape. Um, this album's called Gentle on My Mind by. I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to just see what the. Uh, but the artist is here. It's some, it's just some like uh, Bobby, Bobby something. But it's on Liberty. It's all right for a buck. I'm not gonna complain. If I hate it, I could just chuck it out. Next one here is a a nice compilation on Columbia in perfect condition. Um. I bought this just for the Tony Bennett songs, really. There's a couple Andy Williams on here, too, but... There's that. Next one, uh, I finally picked myself up a copy of this. This is uh, Tony Orlando and Dawn, their classic album. It has Knock Three Times on it, and Candida, all that, all that stuff. This one was interesting. Um, this is from the late 60s. Uh... For a buck, I'm not gonna complain. I don't really like it, but this is Bobby Gentry and uh, Glenn Campbell, an album they did together on the Green Columbia label. It's all right, covers a little wacky on the back, but whatever. A great album. Uh, Reach the bit, Reach the Beach Fix by the Fix. There's the label. Sorry if this is a long video. You know what, I fucked up with this one. This is a stupid, stupid thing. Um, well, I didn't, I'm just probably just gonna chuck it out because it kind of sucks. I'll take this nice sleeve out of it, but it's on Polydor. It's some, it's some, some hits of the, of the year from 1967, and they're all like redone and orchestrated, but how am I supposed to know really that it's a... Uh, that it's that it doesn't doesn't really say I mean it shows all the artists on the back so it's just kind of stupid but I'm not worried about it next one this is an album by uh, John Anderson um, a country artist from the 80s it's kind of like a, a Don Williams almost a little George Strait kind of thing going on and it's, it's enjoyable for a dollar enjoyable last one in the shrink um, this is Perry Como, uh, Christmas album and The Shrink on Camden. This is unplayed. So for a dollar, a little, I mean, you see Perry Como everywhere. Everybody, like, hates finding Perry Como everywhere. I do too, but there's a couple songs on here that I like to hear from Perry Como in the Christmas season to add to my Christmas record collection. And, um... A couple CDs here that I got for a good price. The first one, this is really awesome. Uh, Joy Division Closer. Uh, this was Sealed. Uh, this is a great album from 1980. Um, this was released two months before the lead singer Ian Curtis sadly committed suicide. And um, But their music's very, very dark. And um, some of the members later went on to go on to one of my favorite new wave group uh, new new order and then the last thing i have to show here is a cd i purchased yesterday for a couple bucks um this is a garth brooks album from 1995 there it is it's all right it's got some it's got some all right tracks on it it's for sure his early material is better um, and that's it, VC. I'm going to be redoing my uh, kiss collection video i'm going to try to do it in one video and I think I'm going to be able to do it. So, uh, 
sorry that I've been posting so many videos again, but I'm sure everybody doesn't mind, and uh, take care, everybody.